Folks, because I don't want to waste anyone's time, I'll mention this right at the start. If you have absolutely no interest in anything that goes on on Twitch, you probably don't need to watch this video. But if you're even a little bit interested, you kind of need to know this. Hello, folks, and welcome to a video that I'm pretty sad that I have to make. As you can see, I've got the FC Isle of Man Twitch save open on YouTube. What's Kev up to? If you watched the last Twitch stream, you'll know exactly what I'm up to. Um, we're having to end the save, and I'm making this video basically so that we can link to it on Twitch and send people to it for when they say, Kev, what happened to the Isle of Man save? Um, this is what happened to the Isle of Man save. But before that, the ending of this save, of course, means the starting of a new save. Um, so make sure you join me on Twitch tonight, 7 p.m., twitch.tv slash Lelujo. I am going to be starting a brand new save. I'm still not 100% sure what I'm going to be doing, but what I'm leaning towards at the moment is loading up England, Scotland, Wales, Ireland, Northern Ireland, and doing a, like, a little British Isles journeyman type thing, starting unemployed, seeing where we're ending up. Definitely not starting in England, um, but maybe ending up in England and kind of doing non to legend on a smaller scale, but starting unemployed in somewhere else. So it's something a lot of people have asked for in non to legend. Um, and you're going to get to see me manage um, in an English speaking league. It is in England, which is going to be an interesting thing for you. So that's seven o'clock tonight on Twitch. Uh, but I guess I need to tell you why the previous one ended. Um, and it's, it's all to do with database issues, really. Those of you who have downloaded the tier 10 database, um, from the FM editor, you'll know that it was initially released, then it was quickly pulled, and then it was re-released. Well, I started this save on the original one and before it was fixed. So if you've downloaded it recently, it is fine. This issue is fixed. The home save, the home series, is on the newer version of that, an amended version of that, and it's fine. I've checked. The issue that we have in this isn't in that, so this isn't going to um, cause any problems with the home save. Um, but it does mean that the Isle of Man save is pretty close to unplayable. It's a game-breaking issue, and it's an issue around the generation of new-gen players, um, and basically there aren't any, or there are some, but there's not many. Um, if we have a look at Premier League youth teams, um, you'll see that this is the Arsenal under-18 side. There's four players in it. We can skip through the entire Premier League. Um, Brighton have got no youth players Chelsea have got a couple. Palace have got a couple. Fulham. I mean, there are, there's the odd player here and there, but not very many. Only one at Watford. Um, if we actually jump into the Premier League itself, um, just because you, you might be like, well, there's still some. How is this an issue, Kev? This is where it becomes an issue because when we go into transfers um, and youth departures in the entirety of the 2025-26 season, which to be fair has only just started, but it does include all of the youth players released on the 30th of June. So at the end of last season, there was a grand total of, what's that, 12 players? 12 players. I've played this game too long, where can I eyeball 12 players. Um, but there were only 12 youth players released by Premier League clubs. And this does, it carries on throughout the leagues. In the Championship, there's only 11. Have I eyeballed it right again? Oh, 10. Oh, I've lost my touch. League 1, um, what, 15. League 2, 14. There's just such a dearth of young talent being released. And what it means, we're now entering the sixth season in the save. And we are really, really, really struggling to sign players. I spent all last season um, talking about, we got relegated in season five. We got from tier 10, we got up to tier seven, um, got relegated. And all season long, I'd been blaming the reputation of the club and the financial situation of the club us not being able to sign players who could come in and improve the team. The transfer window that we did as the season previously, we spent the whole summer doing our usual free thing of bringing in players on free transfers, offering contracts to the ones that were better than what we had. And ultimately, there weren't really anybody better than what we had. We ended up filling out the squad with players who just weren't very good. Um, and we can pick, should we pick one that's actually still at the club, which isn't going to be many of them, to be fair. Um, I think he's still at the club. I mean, I, I mean, actually, he's a bad example because he's one of the better ones. Uh, but bottom line, the players we were bringing in weren't good enough to save us. Um, and we've got the same issue again this summer. 
um, when we have a look at the players who are um, who are available to come in on a free transfer um, and do it for young ones, there's, there's five. Eight, I mean, I know we don't have to sign under 18s, but there's five. There's five options. The three of them are trash. So the whole of a 10-tier league setup are chasing after these two young players. Um, if we bring it out to 19, um, we get added on a few more that aren't any good, but we're still not got anyone else who's good. And it's it's just impossible. It's it's game breaking. It's going to get worse and worse the deeper into the save that we get because there's just going to be so few players to fight over. I'm all for the game being a little bit harder than it can be sometimes, but this takes the biscuit a little bit. And like I say, it's already led to one relegation and um, as entertaining as some of the streams were. Sorry, Siri, I'm having trouble saying it because I'm sad. Cool. Listen to her. Um, as much as it, it's good to occasionally struggle and it can be entertaining, it can lead to good content, um, it's not fun long term if we now fall back through the leagues because we can't bring in players. I mean, our first team squad is uh, is small. If we get rid of all those trial players, um, that's the first team players that we've got so far. And uh, there's no one to bring in, he says, with all those trials. But, I mean, look at the trials. There's these guys, because they're older, because we can't get the younger ones. So the older ones, if we take an example, this guy, um, I mean, we've already tried. All of these ones we'd have already tried. Um, but the older ones we can't afford. And the younger ones aren't good enough. So we're ending the save. I will go back, probably not to the Isle of Man, even though I've bought the shirt, I've bought the mug. I've even put an Isle of Man sticker on my diary for the year. Um, I was all in on this and I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely, I'm gutted that it's having to stop, but I don't want to go back and restart with the Isle of Man because it won't be the same. Um, we'll all constantly be comparing it to what we've just done. A few people suggested, why not do an edit, a database to kind of put the players that I've got into the same team in the same year and pretend it never happened. But by doing that, I then see the hidden attributes of all the players. I don't want to do that. I don't want to know what their potential abilities are and that kind of stuff. I don't want to know factually who's better than who. Um, I don't I don't want to manage the club without having our history there. And I know we could bring some of the history in, but it, bottom line, it won't be the same. We can try and replicate, but it won't be the same. So rather than trying to replicate um, and redoing with Isle of Man or redoing a tier 10 road to glory, um, I think it's best to put that on ice for a little while and um, restart tonight, seven o'clock. With, uh, with something new. What it does mean is I'm going to be doing a giveaway for the shirt. So if you would like to win an Isle of Man shirt, um, what I would like you to do is retweet the tweet announcing this video came out because then we'll get more people in on Twitch tonight. That's, that's the plan. I'll do the draw on Twitch tonight at seven o'clock. I'll draw the winner and get the shirt posted out to the person who wins because I've got no use for an Isle of Man shirt now. So it is a 3XL because there's a lot of me but it looks cool. It's a really nice shirt. It's a Hope and Glory shirt, which is the same company who make my shirts. Home shirt's coming soon. And so it's really good quality stuff. Uh, but yeah, I'll give that away. All you have to do, I'll put a link to it in the description of this video as well. Retweet the video announcing, uh, retweet the tweet announcing this video, and then we'll announce the winner at the start of the stream tonight. And hopefully I'll see you there over on Twitch and it won't all break this time. Fingers crossed. And I'm sorry for those of you who are enjoying the save. I can guarantee there were very few of you who were enjoying it as much as I was. I was having a lovely time and gutted. But we'll make something even cooler off the back of it. And I get to buy another shirt, which is always good. If you've enjoyed that, you haven't enjoyed it. I know that's my normal outro. Leave a thumbs up on the video anyway. Subscribe to the channel anyway. I'll hopefully see you on Twitch at seven o'clock. Thank you for watching, folks.